guys, it's Lucy, and today I'm going to be doing my Dewey's 24-hour readathon TBR, and also it's going to be like a currently reading update video. So the 24-hour readathon is this weekend, Saturday the 21st. I want to take part in it because I didn't take part in the last 24-hour readathon, and I really like this readathon. If you don't know, Dewey's 24-hour readathon is a readathon that is, takes place over the course of 24 hours. This readathon is a little different because everyone starts at the same time. So you have to look up like the official start time in your time zone. I'm pretty sure mine is at 8 a.m. I live in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. Basically, you just try and read as much as you can in 24 hours. I wanted to have no plans this weekend so I could like actually devote a lot of time to reading because most I think I've read in a 24-hour readathon, I think I've taken part in it twice so far. And I think the first time I read for like four to six hours maybe, and the second time was only like two hours. And I really want to try and read like eight hours at least but I don't know if that's going to happen because I have a project due Sunday and I have not yet started it because I have a test in about five hours so I shouldn't even be filming this video. Um, but here I am. But yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys what I've been currently reading and like obviously that's going to extend into the weekend because I'm filming this on Thursday. Hopefully this is up on Friday, maybe. So first I'm currently reading and what the first thing I hope to finish during the readathon is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zeppia. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. I'm on page 65 and uh, I li I'm liking it so far. It's not like super far in or anything so I don't have any concrete opinions. But yeah, that's how far I'm in. That's the first thing I will hopefully finish. Like if I don't read anything else, I'd like to finish this book. Next is kind of a breather. I'd like to reread certain parts of Milk and Honey by uh, Rupi Kaur. I read this during the last 24-hour readathon I took part in, or maybe, I don't know, I read it during a readathon um, last year, uh, the whole thing, and I really, really loved it, and I thought I would benefit from reading it at certain points in my life, and I've hit a certain point in my life that I think I would like to just reread certain parts of it, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. Just the third and maybe the fourth section I'll read. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just decide to read the whole thing. We'll see. This will be a reread. I'm also currently reading The Fate of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is the third book in the Queen of the Tearling series. I have fallen in love with the series basically over the last couple months, and this is like the end. I'm currently like on chapter two, so I'm not that far in, so I'd really, really like to finish that um, during the readathon as well, especially because I'm borrowing it from the library and it's due in like four days. So yeah. And for an audiobook, I'm going to be listening to Winter by Marissa Meyer. This was on my 2016 TBR. I'm trying to finally get to it. I'm really trying to prioritize my 2016... No, no. I'm really trying to prioritize my 2017 TBR. But yeah, I'm trying to finish the series finally. And so I have two physical books, one ebook and one audiobook. And if I somehow get through both physical books, the last thing that I will try and read is The Winner's Prime. I'll just try and start this, I guess. By Maria Rakowski. Um, this is the second book in the Winners Trilogy. I read the first one two years ago now and I just like to finish the series or like at least get more headway into it. Yeah, those are the things I'm planning to read during the Dewey's 24-hour readathon and that's like an update on what I'm currently reading. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you're taking part in the readathon. Let me know what you plan on reading, like your TBR down below as well. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'm trying a new thing where I say press the bell icon so you can get a notification whenever I post because uh, as you may have noticed my posting has been sporadic so you can get a notification when I do post. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!